everybody, welcome back to the Jordan Lynch Guitar Method. Today's featured guitar tone is Vintage Dokken Lead and Vintage Dokken Rhythm. I'm going to give you two tones for the price of one. We're going to go through the lead tone, as you can hear in the sound file. And then I will show you with a simple tweak, you can get a really good, crisp, Vintage Dokken Jordan Lynch Rhythm Tone. Okay? Go ahead and follow the parameters and the settings on the screen as best you can. I played with the Boss E-Band JS10. All the effects here are exactly like Boss Effects pedals, and you can find this on you can find these also on the Boss GT100 and GT10. So if you have any other effects processors, stop boxes, whatnot, uh, fractal audio, go ahead and follow the menu as close as you can, or look at the knob positionings and try to emulate these. Okay? If you don't have the same amps that I have, it's okay. Try to find something similar. All right. Let's begin with the Vintage Dokken Lead, followed immediately by the Vintage Dokken Rhythm. And then, uh, so let's get started, okay? So here we go. We're going to start off with a, a simple clean tone patch. Let's go ahead and follow the screen. We're going to change the amp to Stack Crunch. So we have a Stack, a stack Crunch. That's like a 4x12 cabinet. So if you have anything that has 4x12, go with that. And there we go. All right. So we're going to go up and put the gang at 74. So if you can follow along, go for it. We're going to put the gang at 74. We're going to put the level over here at 72. All right. Let's check this out. All right. In the chain, we're going to put the bass at 39. And then we're going to go ahead and put the middle at 45. I'm looking at my notes here as I'm talking to you. And then we're going to go ahead and put the treble at 62. George likes treble. Back for the attack had a lot of treble. High end. And then we're going to put the presence at 25. Again, I do my best to emulate as best I can these tone patches. Your results may vary as you dial them in. So go ahead and by all means tweak them. Make them your own. Or if you can make them better, and make everything much better than mine, by all means go for it. Total Lynch, look. Alright, that's it. And that concludes. <laughs> Alright, so the next parameter we're going to go with. Again, if you have the Moss E-Band, or the Boss GT10 or 100, you may have this little menu. Go ahead and keep it on. I have it on. If you don't have it, it's not going to affect your uh, tone or nothing. But I just happen to have it on online. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to the compressor. We're going to make sure the compressor is turned off. We don't need any compressor. All right, so we got the amp on, stack crunch. Try to emulate that. We got the compressor off. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the overdrive distortion mode right here. And we're going to turn that on. And I'm going to choose clean boost. We're going to keep it there at clean boost. And let's go inside the menu for clean boost. We're going to keep the drive at 50. Let's put the bottom at minus 10. So we can have that. Look at the uh, uh, volume control or the tone controls position. You can follow that also. We're going to go ahead and put the tone at plus 5. And then we're going to go ahead and put the effect level at 80. Let's go ahead and see how that sounds. As we get the Lynch Vintage Dokken Lead Tone. Alright, here we go. Total Lynch. We're not even there yet. Okay, what's next? We're going to go with the noise gate. We're going to have the noise gate at 42. So go ahead and turn the noise gate on. If you want to add more noise gate, by all means, go for it. Again, my tone patches are mine as close as I can dial them in to what I think sounds like it. But if you want to make it better or totally change it, by all means, go for it. All right, let's go to the EQ. If you have EQ, go ahead and turn that on. We're going to keep the low gain at zero and the high gain, we're going to put that at zero. And the level, let's go ahead and put that at plus two. All right. 
And then let's go to the next parameter. We're going to have the low mid at 500. And then we're going to put the... Uh, where are we at? The low mid here, we're going to keep that at 1. And then the low mid gain, we're going to go ahead and keep this at 0. Alright, you follow me there? Total Lynch. Alright, high mid frequency, we're going to keep at 4.00. High mid Q, we're going to keep at 1. And the high mid gain, let's keep it at 0. We're not even done yet, but this right here makes a nice rhythm tone patch. So take notes. If you like this already, as is, go ahead and just save it. But uh, you don't want to save it like that. So let's go ahead. Uh, I got ahead of myself here. And uh, the last parameters on the EQ is going to be the low cut and high cut. Let's go ahead and keep them both at flat. All right, so let's go. We're done with the EQ. There's no modulations. By modulations, we have phaser, flanger, chorus, tremolo, pan, uni, v, and rotary. We don't need any effects of those, so we're going to keep that off. See the bottom right? Let's keep it off. So we're going to take those off. Delay. Since we're in the lead tone mode, because we're making the lead tone first, then we're going to tweak it to the rhythm tone. Let's go ahead and put the delay setting. And the delay I have here would be, um, we're going to keep this at 500. All right, we're, we're going to play it before and after. Let's put the delay at 500. Let me get there. All right, we're almost there. All right, and then the feedback I have, 25. Let's remember, this is the lead tone. The high cut I have at 5.00. And the effect level for the lead tone I have at 84. Let's go ahead and put this at 84. Let's play it before and after. Turn the delay on. attack, total breaking a change. <laughs> Alright, we're almost done here. So what's next? We're going to go to the reverb. And the reverb I have here, we're going to put it at room. And the reverb time, let's go ahead and put that at 1.7. We're almost done with this tone, lead tone. All right? I'll be able to get here real quick. The high cut, I have it at 2.00. Again, if you like these parameters, by all means, go ahead and save them as I save them. If you want to make them your own, add more delay, less reverb, whatnot, add chorus to it, go ahead and do that. And then the effect level for the reverb, let's go ahead and put it at 50, and let's try it on. So real fast, without the reverb. Maybe you don't need reverb because it has, it has a lot of good delay on it. But if you want to add a reverb for some ambiance, let's turn that on. See the bottom right? Vintage docking lead tone. Now, really quick, to get a good vintage docking rhythm tone, go back to your delay. So obviously I just gave me the vintage lock and lead. Go ahead and lock that in, save it as is, and then if you want to rename it, by all means go for it. Call it whatever you want to. Or if you want to call it what I call it, I call it vintage docking. Um, lead, go ahead and call it whatever you want to. Go back to the delay settings, right? 
For the lead, we have 84. If you got a good vintage docking rhythm, all you got to do is create another patch after you do this. See the effect level? Let's drop the effect level and delay to 50. Now check this out. <laughs> vintage docking rhythm so right there you can go ahead and save as a brand new tone patch now you got two tone patches in one and all I did was see the effect level that's your rhythm that sounds really good go ahead and change the effect level back to 84 you want to go 86, 88, that's up to you, but 84 is the lead tone. That's the Vintage Lead Tone and the Vintage Dawkin Rhythm Tone. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, requests, or feedback, by all means shoot me an email and I'll do my best to get to you as soon as I can. I'm really busy, but I'm here to serve you guys with all the George Lynch as, as I can. Also, since I have your attention, please go ahead and subscribe to the link below at Guitar Tones TV. I'm going to be uploading a lot of non-Jordan Lynch guitar tones. Pretty much everybody else. I have Alex Life from Rush. I have Matthias Jav from the Scorpions. I have Ace Freely. I have Kiss. I got um, Aaron Johnson. I got five Aaron Johnson tone patches. I got two um, um, Jimi Hendrix. I got a couple of Van Halen's. I got a lot of guitarists other than Jordan Lynch that I will be uploading at Guitar Tones TV, not at Jordan Lynch Guitar Method. And the Jordan Lynch guitar method, I will be sharing you anything and everything Jordan Lynch. That's why you're watching this video here. But this video can also be found on Guitar Tones TV. But if you want to get my other tones, please subscribe to Guitar Tones TV. Because when I upload a video, I'm going to send everybody that's a, subscri that's a subscriber a message saying, Hey, I just uploaded a video. Come check it out. And if you're not a subscriber, you won't know when I'm uploading videos unless I announce it at the Jordan Lynch Guitar Method. So, in short, uh, thank you so much for all your support and feedback on the Jordan Lynch Guitar Method. And if you like what you hear... <laughs>